Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best and worst posts ever on British Facebook. A true, true cesspit of humanity. Like, if you still use Facebook in today's day and age, there's got, there's got to be something a bit wrong with you. Absolutely fuming at the graffiti at the park today. Caution, model aircraft flying is gay. <laughs> Someone has taken my HelloFresh delivery from my doorstep. Why are you posting that on Facebook? What's Facebook going to do about it? <laughs> Goodbye, Fresh. Are you still selling that Mercedes car? Yeah, can you send a <laughs> He <laughs> said a photo. No, I, I mean of the car. Hi, does anyone have an urn I could borrow tomorrow, please, for the weekend? Desperately need it, and mine's broken on me. A hot water urn. Not, by the way, not Ash's urn. We should have said earlier, I've just tipped my nan into the back garden. I don't know what the fuck this is. Scarborough Moat? What's that? Complete moan. I have a dead baby gull above my bedroom window. It's only reachable with ladders. Beyond housing will do nothing, and neither will the council. Now I have a rotting bird just above my window. Better grab a ladder than I, I have no ladder. Legs. I mean, that is a relatively good excuse for not grabbing a ladder and going up there. Hey, wait, what? I guess this was posted on Princess Diana. Keep her memory alive. No trolls allowed. Final warning to all members. Please do not, for the love of God, announce to this group when you are going to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a reoccurring issue. And I'm not sure why some people have such underdeveloped social skills that they think a group full of mostly strangers would need to know that. No one is going to be impressed or give you a high five, especially considering where that hand has been. I don't want to add this to the rules since, <laughs> since it would be embarrassing for new members to see that we have a problem with this. But it is going to be enforced as a rule from now on. If it occurs, you will be warned that additional occurrences will be dealt with at the discretion of mods. Thanks. Oh, Di would have loved that. She'd have loved that. Little project I've been working on. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. Um, It's like one of them globe thing. I think you put drinks in it or something. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Live in the moment. Make it happy. Be happy. Dream big. What the fuck is this? Kelly and Luke's bar. Cheers. Making spirits bright. Celebrate. Odds of them having a crushed velvet sofa. Very high. Incredibly high. Absolutely disgusted to wake up to this this morning. My two-year-old ran over to her play corner and was pointing to the floor. Someone has posted in pit and pizza through our letterbox. What a world we live in. Why, why would you care enough to post about that? Surely you must have absolutely nothing going on in your day if you're if you're that bothered that you're posting about that on Facebook. I get it. It's it's weird. But if someone had done that to me, I'd just be like, that's really fucking weird. And just bend it. <laughs> Love the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. Hate that I have a UTI. Yuck. And her, her little little emoji thing just there like this. Nice. Princess Diana's favourite run around is on sale having done just 25,000 miles. That's weird. Prince Andrew had a 15 year old escort too. Ah, uh, Prince Andrew's a nonce. He's a nonce. UK ticket holder becomes biggest ever winner with 184 million pound Euro millions jackpot. That'll pay their gas and electricity for the next month. It's true. It's fine. Uh, why is it sorry? I mean, I don't, I, I'm, I'm lucky. I have bills included, but I have a feeling once it comes to my rent being renewed, I'm going, the, the bills are going to be put onto me. And from what I here they are fucking stupidly high. Like, I don't know how most people pay them from what I've heard. I really think the government should do something but they're not going to are they? Because they're shit. Say hello to Brad Pitt. I would no I, I would say that's a funny tattoo but uh. Hi just wondering if you'd be able to fit me in for semi-permanent eyelashes tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Piss off! That's excellent customer service. It's like you know you know like uh, it's like the rumor. I don't know if this is like a rumor or a myth or what but when you go into fancy clothes shops the people in there are trained to be like a bit rude to you so that you feel like you have a point to prove to them by actually buying something. It's like that except this, they're a bit more on the nose at eyes and brows bur bury. <laughs> What's the first thing you do after sex? Continue the autopsy while reminding myself that a moment of weakness doesn't make me a bad vet. Just these two. How much are you selling? Where did you buy also? Is the bike stolen? They were bought from Halfords and I'll be looking at £130 for each. No, they're not stolen. Yeah, yeah, okay man. I will find out the frame numbers, pal. I can message you from another account. Don't get cheeky <laughs> to me, you pig, because I was just asking you a question. Is it stolen? You think you're clever, but you're a pigeon. What does that mean? A pigeon? Get slapped into next year. Like your mum's ass getting slapped by 100,000 men fucking slack. That is um, a proper British negotiations going on here. He will get those bikes for a bargain price. Just a warning, if you're ordering from Tandoori Mahal in Canby, you might get a chicken in his head. Ugh. Someone tagged someone called Melissa. Oh my god, does your dad still do the delivery runs for this place? No, he got sacked for talking to other underage girls. Oh, really? Okay. Was just wondering. Thanks for clearing that up. That's a lot. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a uh, Mr. Moral, moral judgment here, but I think, I think that is a lot worse than working at a place that serves chicken's heads. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just the fix. I haven't even read it yet. I would like to say a big thank you to the free firemen who got me out of this fix. Very much appreciated. And also many thanks to the ambulance crew. I think I needed reversing cameras on my wheelchair. Lol. Any young lad on here that wants a few little jobs to do today? <laughs> Subs commented. Careful. Could be a pedophile. <laughs> I mean, it's true. You do need to be careful with the internet. Has anyone in the Crossplast community seen a cola elf part around his ass seems to have been stolen? We are willing to pay cash rewards. Oh my goodness. Oh no, you've had your elf bar stolen. Good. You deserve it. Fucking cretin. Elf bars. Get a grip. Princess Star Louisa cries, hugging her dead horse after it was preserved by tax. That is fucking... People that get their pets taxidermied are fucking weird. I get that it's like, a, it's like an attachment thing. It's like, oh, they're still in my house, but they're not because they're fucking dead. They're dead. Let it go. Taxidermying a horse. That's that's fucking weird. That's, it's just where are you even going to put that? It's huge. A bit weird. R.I.P. horse. Well said, Sue. Race time. Send them, send them all back. Fucking hell, Sandra. Talking about the Formula One. Oh, wh when you put vulvic flavoured water in your iron, it doesn't make your clothes smell of forest fruits. It just melts all of the sugar and ruins your iron and top. These things should come with warnings. I'm not happy. Surely that's just, that's just fucking common knowledge. My ex only got me pregnant for a bet. I'm so angry and upset. I mean, fair enough, Brittany. I will, who the fuck gets someone pregnant for a bet? What kind of bet could that possibly be worth? What's stopping you from doing this with your bae? Got a bath, not a shower. Just like us, bae, but when you get a shower, we will do this. We can't get one in my flat. The water pressure is too low. <laughs> Posted in We Love Little UK, and it's a picture of a breakfast pack with four beef lawn sausages, four pork link sausages, four black pudding sausages, and two hacker slices. Needed this after taking my cat to the vets today. Rest in peace. Yeah, that'll that'll fix it for you. That'll fix that hole in your heart. All the cholesterol from that. Clog it right up. Heavy model of a bloodhound. What the fuck? I thought that was like. I thought it was a flashlight to begin with. But what the fuck? Okay, I can kind of see. It's supposed to be like cold up in a ball or something. Could be composition or concrete. I don't know. Measures nine by six. A pro. Sorry, no offers or posting. Surely you just bin it at that point. Like, that's gonna be a for eight pound. That, no one's gonna want that for eight pound. <laughs> it's better off just in the bin. Someone's selling last night's leftover curry. What is fucking wrong with Who thinks? Should the people, should, so surely people must actually buy shit like this off Facebook Marketplace. Anyway. Banging curry chicken de piazza. I definitely pronounced that wrong. And something else I can't remember. Doesn't come with rice or naan. Collection only leak. No offers. Thanks. And that just looks foul. Like, surely, like, it wouldn't cost you much more to get your own own curry, your own curry, all to yourself that is new and freshly cooked. Inappropriate language on bus stop. Children have to walk up here in the morning. Disgusting behaviour. The main crime here is they've used the wrong yaw. Chanel toaster and kettle can be can be made with other brands and come with a genuine certificate. £100 for the set or £60 each. <laughs> Please, no time wasitas. Logo collars. Gold, rose gold, blue, silver. I, I tell you what my favourite colour is. Blue. Favourite colour. I just want to, I want to know what the certificates say. I'd be tempted to buy that just to see the certificate of authenticity. I'm so curious as to what it has to say and how much of it is spelt wrong. What the f full human size owl costume, 50 pounds. To be fair, bargain for what that is. That's a great great costume. I used to use this to scare my neighbours. I climb up the trees and shout, Barry, I'm an owl as loud as I get. I was told I'm no longer allowed to climb trees and cause unneeded harassment to them. As you can see from the photos, it's great for day-to-day -day activities around the house, washing up, reading, or just owling around the place. This is a high-quality professional movie-accurate owl outfit that has even the best of bird watches in South Wales, thinking it was a real oversized owl. You know what? I'd love to have that. If that was still up for... If I was in Wales and and it was still up for sale, I'd buy that. What a bargain. It was also terrifying. Who would do this? Four cans of beans and milk all over our door. This TikTok trend going around. Throw breakfast at someone's door. Scared my whole family and dog. Beans can make dogs very sick. Don't sell beans to kids. Please help stop this. Whoever did this targeted our home. Stupid and dangerous. I mean, that I, I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, that's that's nothing. No, stop complaining. Because that is that that is a fucking piss day. If someone threw beans and milk at my door, I'd be fucking livid. If I catch anyone beaning around here, I'd 
promise I'll start the trend gutting when I empty their stomachs out onto their own doorsteps. Fair enough. I mean, a bit of an overreaction, but you know what? If you're angry, fair enough. Your feelings are valid. For anyone's kids hanging around over pool area, suggest you get them in. Group of maybe four to six, ages 11 over, booting my front door and constantly knocking. Notice one girl wearing a white slash cream jacket and the rest boys all black clothing. No need for it. Got my three-year-old son asleep and keep waking you up. Sort them out. Throw boiling sugar over them. Might be a bit overkill, but they won't come back. Police might, though. I mean, you know, they gotta learn at some point. They gotta learn to not be dickheads at some point. As you say, it might be a bit overkill, but it, it will do the job. They won't come back. If you're needing petrol from Sainsbury's Halifax, it's shut as there's a cow escaped in the car wash. <laughs> Barry responded with, it was only my ex-wife going to pay. I don't know why he's put so many spaces in between some of these words, like varying, varying amounts of space. Burner for sale, good for the drug dealers or stick it up your ass to go in jail. PM me for more info. That looks like a hefty phone. It looks, that looks quite big. I wouldn't want to put that up my ass, thanks. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.